So if you upload a picture or type in a few words into this AI program, it will give you back a whole video with sound, song, or even a detailed story. You probably thought that we were not there yet, but it looks like we are, because Microsoft introduced a new groundbreaking AI model that takes content generation to the next level. And they called it Cody. Cody stands for Composable Diffusion. It's a multimodal AI model that can simultaneously process and generate content across multiple modalities, such as language, image, video, or audio. Unlike existing generative AI systems, it can generate multiple modalities in parallel, and its input is not limited to a subset of modalities like text or image. Cody can take any combination of input modalities and generate any combination of output modalities, even if they are not present in the training data. This is insane, right? Imagine you can just type in a few words or upload an image or a sound clip and get a whole video or a song or a story out of it. Or you can mix and match different inputs and outputs to create something completely new and original. There are so many possibilities that we could do with this. So, Cody is the latest work of Microsoft's Project iCode, which aims to develop integrative and composable multimodal AI. It's a groundbreaking achievement that could transform the way humans interact with computers on various tasks, including assistive technology, custom learning tools, ambient computing, and content generation. So how does Cody do this? Well, it's not magic, it's science. And it's pretty complicated science, so I'll try to explain it in a simple way. Cody uses a technique called diffusion models to generate content. Diffusion models are a type of generative models that learn to reverse a diffusion process that gradually adds noise to the data until it becomes random. For example, if you have an image of a cat, you can add some noise to it until it becomes unrecognizable. Then you can train a model to remove the noise and reconstruct the original image. Diffusion models have been shown to be very effective for generating high-quality images. But Cody takes diffusion models to the next level by extending them to multiple modalities and making them composable. What does composable mean? It means that Cody can combine different diffusion models for different modalities into one unified model that can generate any-to-any -any outputs. For example, Cody can combine a diffusion model for text with a diffusion model for image and a diffusion model for audio into one model that can generate text from image, image from text audio from text, text from audio, image from audio, audio from image, or any combination of these. It does this by learning a shared diverse space for all modalities. This means that Cody maps all modalities into a common representation that preserves their diversity and uniqueness. For example, it can map an image of a cat and a sentence describing the cat into the same space, but also keep them distinct from each other. To learn this shared diverse space, Cody uses two components, latent diffusion models, LDMs, and many-to-many -many generation techniques. LDMs are diffusion models that learn to map each modality into a latent space that is independent of the modality type. Now, an LDM can map an image of a cat into a vector of numbers that represents its features. LDMs allow Cody to handle different modalities in a consistent way. Many-to-many -many generation techniques are methods that enable Cody to generate any output modality from any input modality. For example, Cody can use cross-attention generators to generate text from image or image from text by attending to the relevant features in both modalities. Or it can use environment translators to generate video from text or audio by translating the input modality into an environment representation that captures its dynamics. By combining LDMs and many-to-many -many generation techniques, Cody can learn a shared diverse space that enables composable generation across multiple modalities. So what can Cody do with this amazing ability? Well, Cody can do a lot of cool things that no other AI model can do. It can take in single or multiple prompts including video, image, text, or audio and generate multiple aligned outputs like video with accompanying sound. Let me give you some examples of what it can generate from different inputs. For example, it can take text, image, and audio input and provide video and audio output. Like, imagine you have a text prompt that says, Teddy Bear on a Skateboard 4K High Resolution. And you also have an image of a teddy bear and a sound of a skateboard. What do you think it will generate from these inputs? Well. 
Cody will generate a video of a teddy bear on a skateboard with the sound of the skateboard, and the video will be in 4K resolution and high quality. Then it can take text as an input prompt to produce video and audio output. Let's say you have a text prompt that says, fireworks in the sky. It will generate a video and an audio output that match the text input. Like, it might generate a video of fireworks in the sky with the sound of fireworks. Now, let's try something more complex. Imagine you only have a text input, but you want to generate three outputs, text, audio, and image. Now, for a text prompt that says seashore sound ambience, it will generate three outputs that are related to the text input. It might generate another text description that says wave crashes the shore seagulls, an audio output that has the sound of seashore, and an image output that shows the seashore. All right, so why is an AI model like Cody important? Well, it's because it breaks the boundaries between modalities and enables more natural and holistic human-computer interaction. Cody can help us create dynamic and engaging content that can appeal to multiple senses and emotions. It can also help us access information and express ourselves in different ways that suit our preferences and needs. For instance, it can help create accessible technology for people with limitations, like generate captions for videos or images for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. It can also generate audio descriptions or text summaries for people who are blind or visually impaired. It can even generate sign language videos or images for people who use sign language as their primary mode of communication. Another example is education. It can create special tools to help different types of learners, adjusting content to match what a learner knows and wants to achieve. Plus, it can make content that suits learners' interests and likes. Kodi is also affordable and easy to access. It does not require expensive hardware or software to run. It is actually available as an Azure cognitive service that anyone can use through an API or a web interface. It is also scalable and flexible and can handle any combination of modalities and generate any to any outputs. You can also adjust and tweak Kodi to suit particular areas and jobs better. To sum up, Kodi is a revolutionary AI model that can generate anything from anything all at once through composable diffusion. It is leading us into a new era of generative AI that can enrich our lives and experiences. I really hope you liked the video and found out something cool about Kodi. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more stuff on AI. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.